WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chaplin here, Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. market update. Dow's up at 100, 163 points at 30,497. Uh, and earlier on, it was down sharply, had a spectacular move to the upside in a shorter term, went all the way to the 30,700s, but it needs to just take go one tick above 30,837.90. 0.91 stars leg C. And it's these are too small, these legs to the upside. You need to see something up in the 31,250s to really say that is a spectacular move. Now we're going to continue higher for a while. So this is still the process with very good technicals. The nine period moving average is over the 14. The MACD is good. Stochastic's at 81%. On balance, volume is stalling. It just doesn't want to get going. Maybe it will later. S&P, I'll run this very quickly. S&P is also up nicely, up 10 at 36.75. It needs a lot more. It ran all the way to 37.15. So this is quite a bit of a pullback, but it was a, a big drop earlier on. QQQ, NDX 100, struggling, now down 32 cents at 268. IWM was also struggling a little bit. It is now down 28 and 168. Gold saw some buying, and the buying is still holding. It's up seven at 16.44. It's got that left. Oh, I never did that during my show, the Tiger Traditions Hour, and I, just a few minutes ago. Ah, I forgot. So this is the H pattern. It's taking out the left side low. This is really important. It's got two sessions in which to get probably to about the 16.56, 16.64 level to say, ha, saved at the bell. And now what we're looking at, the TLT is – down, making like kind of a doji candle here. It's right at the area that you would think there'd be a bounce. You got to see the bounce first. And this particular point down two at 92.77, very ugly. And you're looking at uh, the dollar. The dollar pulled back a little bit from the highs. And now it's at 113.13, up 26 cents. Going to be following this very closely next week. Crude oil. Crude oil is very important here. It's now gone negative at 83.87. I'm watching this one closely. If it starts to trade under 80 next week, that's one thing together with the commodities, the um, the grains pulling back. That could be a little bit of a deflationary aspect. We'll see. So we're going to wrap it up here. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned. You've got Steve Rhodes. You've got, so you've got Think or Swim. Then you've got uh, uh, Dave White. Uh, no, sorry, Larry Pesavento, Dave White. And Tom O'Brien wraps it up. Great program here. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. See you on Monday, but stay tuned for TFNN.